is my best interpretation of how to find algo lines um, and how to tell if the line that you've made is actually a real deal line and if it's like relevant to the trade that you're taking. Now, I'm using my best assumption here. So before you watch this video, you should definitely watch the real trading video and read all the subreddit posts and read the wiki about this um, because that's the source. I'm just translating this and this is my best assumption. I don't always get them right. I often over-diagnose them as well. Um, but according to my TradeSync data, my algo line win rate is over 80%. So these things are damn good if you can spot them and find them, okay? So if I can choose between an algo line break on a weak stock and then another weak stock that's maybe even a bit weaker, I will choose the algo line break. That's how much I like these, okay? So here's how you can find them. First, an algo line needs to start on a D1 candle at the tip of it with volume that's above the average. And we use the 50 moving average for that. So if you add a 50 SMA on your volume histogram, anything that peaks over the top of it is a potential algo line. Now I know some people will recolor their candles. I don't know, I never learned how to do it that way, so I just don't do it that way, but whatever, it helps you spot them. Anything that peaks out. So this candle could be an algo line. That candle could be an algo line. These candles could be the start of algo lines. They all could. Now, it doesn't have to connect to other high volume candles. It just has to make sense on the technical analysis. So for example, on LCID, there's almost definitely an algo line from this candle up to here because if you look at those touch points, that is beautiful. Those reversals, those touch points, basically the only thing that's gonna be that razor sharp is some sort of AI program that is using that as a channel to buy based on the whatever random information it has about Lucid during this period of time. And so anytime these lines get broken, it implies that the big boys, the AI programs that have more information than you could possibly know and they know more about Lucid than you could possibly know and they know everything, they've decided that things have changed and Lucid's not worth as much anymore. So you, all you gotta do is just ride on this, right? So you don't need to know why it's going down, you just need to know that it's going down. So that's an algo line. Here's another one that's possibly an algo line, but it doesn't have as many touch points as this one up through here. The more touch points, so like one, two, three, or sometimes you see some that have like five or six, the more touch points, the better, okay? More touch points is better. Also, a short breaking an upsloping is better than a short breaking a downsloping because that means it was already going down and it might just climax and go parabolic. But this one means it was going up and now it's changing direction. You're catching the start of a new potential trend, okay? If you're going long, you wanna ideally break a downsloping algo line instead of breaking an upsloping algo line, but it's still okay. But the best is breaking a line going the opposite direction of the trend that you're going in, okay? Now, algo lines don't have to be um, like at the tips of trends. So they don't have to be at like the start at the peak of a candle or something like that. AMC is a perfect example. This one, I believe is an algo line, starts here, like kind of in the middle of chop, all the way up to the top. And you can see it's still kind of being respected after it's broken, okay? Now another one is, if you look at this line of candles through here, there's some high volume candles down here and it's possible that an algo line starts like weird, like in the center of there and goes all the way down if the TA makes sense. So let's say you find a candle through here that's high volume and you drag it down and it all of a sudden lines up with like four or five more candles down there, you've likely found an algo line. So these things are tricky to spot, but once you get the deal for how they work, they become a lot easier to see and see quickly. Okay, so that's algo lines. The last thing, it cannot be an earnings candle, okay? It has to be just a random D1 candle. If it's an earnings candle, it could be just the volatility of the earnings buying and selling versus the actual algo. You wanna make sure there's some sort of computer controlled institutional buying program that's deciding when to buy and sell these stocks that has changed its mind about it. That's my best explanation for how algo lines work and hopefully you will be able to find more this way. Lastly, this is why people like PGR so much. Look at this candle right through here. That's a high volume candle and look at how sharp the touch points are on it and look at what happens when it breaks. So that's how you find algo lines. Now, you can see proof of them as well when you are looking at the five minute chart. 
So if you look at a line and you think, I think it broke an algo line, one of the best ways to confirm that is you can take a look at the five minute chart and you can see the price action and the volume when it broke that. Look at that right there. Look at the volume on there. Why would it have crazy volume on the third candle? That doesn't make sense. But because this was a legit algo line, I think, right? Well, everything's just assumptions here uh, based on percentages, then there's probably more proof right through there. There's more confirmation on that as well. So take a look at the price action on the five minute candles as well to see if what you're looking at is an algo line. If there's stuff like rejections or like wicks against it or like volume in that area, et cetera, there's a good chance it's also an algo line because that's institutional buying doing stuff. That is my best explanation of algo lines.